My name is Evan Shirley, this is Dylan, this is Manuel, and this is our Tim Talk. So what is happiness and why does it happen? From our individual knowledge, these are our definitions of happiness. Happiness is when something makes you feel good or content about something. True joy comes from non-material things, while happiness is a watered-down version of joy. Who you surround yourself with and the actions you take towards others greatly influences your happiness. You can find happiness in everything. You just have to look for it. Happiness is a human emotion usually triggered by an event that it produces chemicals in the brain that make you happy. There is an objective feeling of happiness for everyone. It is when chemicals happen in your brain and, well, makes you feel happy. But happiness can also be considered when you reach a point in your life that you have been striving for and feel and for living a happy life. And my thoughts haven't really changed since learning more about happiness, but more about what it is to be happy. Happiness is the chemical response in the brain when something good happens. The body releases a chemical called dopamine into the brain, which causes happiness. It can either be long-term or sh short-lived. To understand why happiness happens, let us dive deeper into the science of this emotion. Let's have my good boy Dylan demonstrate it. All right. Happiness is about 50% determined by our genes, aka the set point. 10% is up to circumstance. The other 10% is up to their individual choices. Happiness is unique to each individual person. Dopamine is necessary for happiness. The system that releases it is called a neurotransmitter. People who experience flow are typically happier. Social bondings and social interaction are intrinsically put into humans to elicit dopamine receptors, similar to that of drugs. Counting your blessings and making a small act of kindness have made, <laughs> have made people happier. Compassion can make you feel happier. Spiritual emotions can make you feel happier, which means that non-self emotions can make you feel better. Now we're going to talk about how technology affects happiness with manual. Technology has dramatically changed the way people interact and communicate with each other. Technology also allows people to work from home, meaning they spend less time commuting and have more flexibility in their schedules and free time. People from different cultural backgrounds have different views on what happiness is. People in Western cultures tend to value individual, individually oriented and value individual achievements. People from Asian cultures like Japan value collective well-being because they value social connections. Social ties help provide individuals with a sense of belonging and connection, which is essential for contentment and fulfillment. Something I have learned throughout the course of this project is that you are the one who is in control of your own happiness. You can either let, you can either let or not let the negative things affect your life. You are the one who has control of your own happiness. Don't let other people decide how you live your life and find your happiness. You are in control of your happiness.